look in his eyes like a madman. He wants to kill me. Someone does. Like the other three lying on the floor in a pool of blood. Almost 12 o'clock. It's night. Any minute now, there'll be a ring. Or a knock. <laughs> Midnight, the witching hour when the night is darkest, our fears the strongest, and our strength at its lowest ebb. Midnight, when the graves gape open and death strikes. How? You'll learn the answer in just a minute in The Creeper. <laughs> On this program, we bring you the best and most blood-curdling stories ever written. And so now we bring you a tale which you may have heard before. A tale which we consider a classic in terror and suspense. The Creeper by Joseph Ruskall. In the kitchenette to the New York apartment, a man and his wife listened to the evening news broadcast. New York. The unknown killer called The Creeper has struck again adding a third female corpse to his toll. Mm. Virginia Peters, a comely waitress, was found strangled to death in her third-floor apartment early this morning while her radio blared. As in the previous murders, a note was found scrawled on the wall with the victim's lipstick and the plea, for heaven's sake, catch me before I kill more. I cannot control myself. Oh. Police insist... Now, why'd you turn it off? Oh, how awful. Awful, and in this very neighborhood. Let's hear the rest. It's very interesting. Oh, you... Don't go turning that radio on again, Steve Grant. Heard enough, I'll go out of my mind, for heaven's sake. That's it. A good, solid clue. What is? For heaven's sake. How many men ever use that expression? Oh, shut up. Okay, Mrs. Grant, pass the biscuits, my little pigeon. Pass the biscuits, E-D-D. Three women in three days murdered in cold blood by a mad fiend right here in Washington Heights. I'm too sick to go out, too scared to stay in. The lock's broke. He sits there eating, 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 past the biscuits. There's nothing wrong with my appetite, my love. Of course. That's what costs you your job on the police force. When I even think of Some it. men drink to escape. I eat. Escape what? What? An ugly tongue, a beautiful face, and a roving eye. In short, a wife. Oh, so you're starting that again, you and your crazy jealousy. Yeah, maybe that's the creeper's way of escaping, too, Georgia. Who knows? Shut up. Go ahead and get a divorce. Go ahead. Can I help it if men look at me? Uh, I don't know why you come home at all. Where do you go? What do you do with yourself? Where were you this morning? Why'd you come back? To eat. But someday I'll lose my appetite for that, too. And when I do, my dear, there'll be no escape. And now I'm off again. Kiss. Still using stage lipstick. Wipe it off. How many times must I tell you? You're married now, remember? Steve, wait. Yeah. At least go buy my medicine. Sorry, I got no time. Don't leave me here alone. Stay home this evening. Please, I'm afraid. Oh, don't be silly, pet. Nothing will happen to you. You got a doorman here, an elevator boy, Mrs. Stone across the hall, a phone. You're safe enough. But the night lock, it doesn't work. Oh, 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 now you can't lock me out anymore. It doesn't catch. Something's happened to it since last night. Steve. Get a new one. I can't get a locksmith. I've tried all day. Steve, please. If I want to phone you, where will you be? Out. Goodbye. Take care of your cold. Steve Grant. Huh? Well, if it isn't old Pearly Chase, how are you? Here you got thrown off the force, Steve. Yeah, here you got thrown off the news, Pearly. You heard wrong. I wasn't fired. I was just warned. I wasn't fired either. Just suspended for three days. Eating a lamb chop at Casey's when I should have been ringing in from the box at 162nd with all that trouble up there. On my way to headquarters now for reinstatement. I eat too much, my trouble is. I drink too much. Hey, you're living up at the Heights, Steve. Yeah. That's funny, me too. Yeah? Hey, you're married now to a beautiful and lovely young... <whistles> with admiration. <laughs> Say it again. I think I knew her. Wasn't her stage name Georgia Dixon? Yeah, that's her. I love that wench, but... Ah, uh, women. How does a guy handle them? You know... Maybe the creeper has the right method. <laughs> Thank you for taking the words out of my mouth. Who's the creeper, Steve? 
Any angles? You tell me and I'll split the reward with you. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what do you think of Inspector Bradley's inside job here? Uh, nuts. Every janitor's a creeper? And as for that doorman, Jim Ellis, just because he worked at two of the three murder apartments? Pure coincidence. Anyway, they've released him. One thing, though, and I don't think even Bradley's put it together yet. Yeah? In all three cases, just before the creeper struck, the door locks had already been tampered with. You don't say. You got a theory? Well, sure. I mean, uh, you take that note on the wall. For heaven's sake, in every case, for heaven's sake, catch me before I kill more. I cannot control myself. Right. Oh. Now... What man uses an expression like that? You want the lowdown? It's just this. The creeper is a woman. <laughs> a gimmick, huh? Eh? Yeah. Like the height of the message from the floor is a trick, six feet. And yet I'll lay odds the creeper's no more than a guy your height, say, or mine. Five nine, just like us, you or me. Only crazy. Yeah. How do you figure that? How do I figure lots of things? How do I know where the creeper's going to strike next? You do? Certainly. The creeper's not so smart. He's just crazy. You play along crazy and you're one jump ahead of him. That's the trouble with Inspector Bradley. Why, he's up a tree. You expect logical clues from a madman? Mm. You play along crazy, make out you're the creeper. And what do you get? Well, go ahead. Let's see. All right. The victims are all redheads. Every one. You've noticed that, of course. Three in three days? Yeah, now that you mentioned they it. They all lived in the Heights, right? Agnes Martin, Jane Krutsky, Virginia Peters? Right. What was the number of the apartment in each case? Agnes lived in 1A, Jane 2B, Virginia 3C. Don't ask me the why or wherefore. Don't ask me the logic. Just play along crazy. You see what I mean? Where's he going to strike next? Huh? I don't get you. The next victim of the creeper also lives in the Heights. She's a redhead. Her night lock's been tampered with. She's going to get hers today, and her apartment number's 4D. Well, why are you looking at me? Don't you like my arithmetic? Pearly, my wife's a redhead. We live in the Heights. And our apartment number is... <laughs> <laughs> You're just a boozy reporter. Your apartment number? 4D, I told you. 4D, of course. It's pretty late, but I'll have it delivered. I was busy admiring your lipstick, Mrs. Grant. I have nothing like it in stock. 4D, I should have guessed it anyway. Why? Well, a face is a number. Believe me, since you've moved into the neighborhood, Mrs. Grant... For me, it has a special number, like uh, Double Dandy Delicious Dream. <laughs> Four Ds, you see? Ah, go on. But you tell that to every customer, female. I'm a ladies' man? Like the creeper? <laughs> what did I say? What's going on in this block? Raw nerves, you can't joke. The creeper, the oh. creeper, that's all I hear all day. It's mass hysteria. There ain't such an animal. You... You don't think so? I assure you, Mrs. Grant, it's a fairy tale for circulation of the tabloids. I'll send your prescription up with the boy. No, uh, no I'll, I'll, I'll just wait here for it. Well, it'll take some time. You should go right home and stay there if you're just getting over the flu. I'll tell you what. I'll deliver it myself. It'll be a pleasure. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll wait. I, I may not go right back. I don't want to... I want to be there alone. I'm afraid. Very well. Suit yourself. Uh, have a seat. For heaven's sake, stop me before I kill more. What? I cannot control my... Wait, I was only joking, Mrs. Grant. Wait, Mrs. Grant, your prescription. Stone. Why, yes. What's your hurry, dear? I just got such a scare since these awful murders in this neighborhood. Yes, isn't it terrible? Oh, I'm simply frightened to death myself. You walking home? Yeah, I guess so. Well, I'll go with you. It's good we live in the same house. At least if I had a double lock, but the night one doesn't work. Oh, really? Well, I have a chain lock besides, and still The way I'm... it is, I sit and shiver when there's a sound at the door. Can't get a locksmith. Tried all day, but they're all so busy. Mr. Frank on the corner promised to, but didn't know when. 
Why are they all so busy? Well, my dear, because every woman in the neighborhood's changing there, too. Simply a nightmare. Oh, but don't you worry. We'll stay together this evening. Mr. Stone's out, too. Think of it, we've never visited, though we live right across the hall from each other. Isn't that like a big city, for heaven's sake? Or would you rather I dropped in on you? Well, uh, I, I don't well, know. Well, make it your it... place, then. Isn't it horrible, the ghastly things they're saying? The serious one doesn't know what to think next. You believe the latest? The latest? That maybe it's a woman, the creeper. <gasps> A woman? Can you beat it? I just can't imagine how in the world the police figure that, for heaven's sake. Can you? I say, can you, Miss Grant? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I was just thinking of something my husband... Though I can see where a married woman now, if her husband was faithless, well, I can understand such a theory because they take my husband now. Uh, you've met Mr. Stone, haven't you? Well, Mrs. Grant, why on earth you're staring at me like that, for heaven's sake? Oh, uh, I don't feel well. I must... Get home. I uh, feel faint. But Mrs. Grant, for heaven's sake. Sobbing with terror, the woman with red hair runs up the dark street, back to her apartment and the door with the broken lock. As the hands of the clock move on towards 12 o'clock and... Murder at midnight. Back to Murder at Midnight and The Creeper. Back to Georgia Grant, hurrying hysterically through the dark streets towards the apartment with the broken lock on the door. Good evening, ma'am. Oh. Out late, aren't you? Oh. Yeah, you're the uh, new doorman? Just relieving Charlie. Nice night. Yeah. Yeah, it was very nice. Here, uh, let me ring the elevator for you. No, you don't have to trouble. No trouble, ma'am. There. Apartment 4D, huh? Oh. Uh, yeah. How did you know? Doesn't take long. When will this elevator come? Coming now. Terrible things, ma'am. The happenings. What? The creeper. It's sort of... Oh. Going up? Yeah, yeah. Up and down, up and down. The ups and downs of life, that's me. I'm a living milkshake, Mrs. Grant. Uh-oh. What's wrong, Jimmy? Stuck. Imagine getting stuck between a third and fourth with a production like you. Get going, Sonny. You want me to report you? Okay, okay. Can't you take a joke? <laughs> Maybe I misconstrued that smile you always give me. Maybe you shouldn't ought to smile that way. Fourth floor. Let me out. If I drop in later, will you be more receptive? <laughs> oh, home. Oh, thank goodness. I must be going out of my mind. Key. Where's my key? Darn this lock. Darn the lock. Is the locksmith in yet? Well, I want to know how soon I can get my lock changed. Yes, I know it's late, but he promised. This is Mrs. Grant. Yes, 4D, yes. I know you just explained to me, but Hello, I must... Georgia. Yes? Yes, so, so won't you... I've please? been waiting for you. Oh, oh, oh. Stretch, you little fool. It's oh. me. Do you want oh. the whole house to... Oh. That's better. What are you doing here? Oh, don't worry. You haven't got a thing to worry about now. I've come to protect you. Give me the phone. Hello? Never mind about the lock, thank you. Sit down. Make yourself at home. Been waiting here for you. Long time no see, Georgia. What do you want, Pearlie? Me? A headline. Your husband wants two. He wants I should keep an eye on you. What's that? Sure. You didn't think Steve and I were acquainted, did you? Oh, yes. From way back. Just met him at a bar. I don't believe you. 
What do you mean, keep an eye on me? Oh, just in case the creep... <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. You heard of the character? You're mad. You've always been mad, Pearly Chase. Where is Steve? Why should he send you here? Why should he think the creeper will come here? What are you doing here? Told you. Playing along crazy. Got a drink? You're drunk now. And you're getting right out of here. You're nothing but a no-good rummy. And you're nothing but a no-good... You finish it. When I took the drink, it was to drown you out, and you know it. I'm still a rum pot angel, which means I haven't got rid of you yet. Get out. You're a little two-time and redhead. You're all the same, you redheads. Even a wedding ring can't change you. Oh, don't play the innocent. My business is snooping. I make a living at it between drinks. So your new motto's love thy neighbor, huh? Mr. Stone across the hall? Poor dumb Steve. I'm warning you, get out or I'll call the police. Stay where you are. All right, Pearly, what are you doing with that gun? I wouldn't pick up that phone if I were you. You see, there's a big reward for the creeper and a heck of an exclusive, and I don't want to share it. I'm riding a hunch. Now sit down, darling. Just play along with me while I play along crazy. Sit down. Oh. That's it. Like we're expecting company. <laughs> Let's have some music. Don't just sit. Let's have some music. I said turn on the radio. That's it. That's the good girl. Ah, dance music. Ah, let's dance. Give me a wrong. Let's dance. Ah, like old times. Around and around. Like my brain. Why are you trembling? I still love you, you little fool. Ask me why. I love you. I love you, you lovely redhead. I could kill you and you deserve it. With the radio on, you could scream and no one would hear. I could put my hand on your throat like this and I could strangle you. Why are you crying? Stop it. I'm here to protect you. Stop crying. Cut it, I said. Cut it out. I can't stand it. I never could. Okay. You want me to leave? All right, I will. Get you off, you know. What am I saving you for, anyway? Where's my hat? In a few minutes, there'll be a knock or a ring or the door will just open. And you'll be lying in a pool of blood like the other three. Goodbye, my worthless. Give my regards to the creeper. What if he comes back? He wants to kill me. He wants to kill me. Somebody wants to kill me. I must lie down. My head is bleeding. Trying to frighten me. Still a spite, that's it. Like the other three. In a pool of blood. Like the other three. Like the other three. Almost. Almost 12 o'clock. Any minute now, there'll be a knock. Or a ring. <laughs> Doorman, Mrs. Grant. Yes? The druggist is here with a medicine. Shall I let him up? A medicine? Oh, yes, let it. No, 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 no. Don't let that man up. Want me to bring it up? No, 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 no. I'm perfectly all right. I don't need any. I don't need it, you hear? Don't you dare come up. Don't dare me. <laughs> Please, please, I must have it changed right away. My lock, my door lock. Yes, this is Mrs. Grant. Yes, I do want it. Of course, anyone can get in, anyone. They want to murder me, but I don't know who. It's the creeper. Oh, you'll come right away? Thank you, thank you. 
Thank you so much, but hurry. Please hurry or I'll go out of my mind. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Like the other three in a pool of blood. Any minute now, a knock or a ring. Oh. Who? Who's there? It's me, dear, Mrs. Stone. Oh, what do you want? I've been worried about you. Are you ill? No, I'm all right, Mrs. Stone. I'm feeling fine. Open up, dear. Don't you want me to keep you company? No, 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 thank you. I, I was just... Oh, stop that. Oh, do let me in, silly, and we'll... No, no, please, go away. I'm going to sleep. Go away. You hear me? Go away. Uh... Hello. Hello, Georgia. You oh. all right? Oh, Steve. Steve, I've been frantic. So good to hear your voice. Where are you? At headquarters. I'm coming right home. Sweetheart, is anything wrong? You no, said? no, no, not now. Not when I hear you, Steve. I don't know what came over me all day. I've been imagining things. So silly. My nerves. Sorry about the supper tonight, honey. I wasn't myself. My job had me down, but now everything's Oh, of okay. course. Forgive me, Steve. I've been bad, bad, wicked. Well, if you knew what I've gone through tonight, the most dreadful state. And then that... Steve, did you send someone here today? Curly Chase? Then you did? Yeah, to keep you company. Isn't he still with you? No, I just got rid of him. Oh, I wish you hadn't. He's an all right guy. Smart reporter. Lives in the neighborhood, too. Honey, it sounds cockeyed. I mean, pearly theory. But I was kind of worried when I got to thinking, so... Listen, Georgia. Yes? Don't let anyone in the house till I get home. No, no, I won't, Steve. Not anyone, do you? Oh, uh, Steve, wait. What? Wait, Steve, it's, uh, thank goodness, at last now I can breathe easy. Darling, just a minute. Georgia. Hello. Hello, Georgia. Mr. Frank? Mr. Frank. Thank goodness you've come. Please, step in. It's uh, the lock on this door. I want... Just a moment, my my husband's on the phone. Can you hear me, Georgia? Steve? Yeah, what happened? There was something else I wanted to tell you. It's all right, darling. Everything's all right now, Steve. You needn't worry. Didn't I just hear you talking to someone? Was that somebody at the door? No, it's no one, dear. It's just Mr. Frank, the locksmith. The locksmith. What a load. Georgia, listen. Listen, Georgia. That's what I was going to tell you. What is it? The police are on a new trail. They think maybe a locksmith. Georgia, you listening? They think maybe the creeper's a locksmith. Oh. Get him out, quick. What oh. nice lipstick you Georgia, need, Mrs. Frank. Oh. Yes. Georgia. Very nice. Lipstick. Georgia. Very, very. Can you hear me, Georgia? Georgia. Georgia. Hello, Georgia. Hello. Hello, who's this? Hurry. Catch me before I kill more. For heaven's sake. Soft footsteps hurrying down the corridor. Away from the door with the broken lock, now standing ajar. The body of a red-headed woman. And still, should she not have known that her only visitor would be death? And the clocks struck twelve for... Murder! again when death knocks at the door, wearing a familiar face, and the clocks strike twelve for murder at midnight. The part of Georgia was played by Anne Shepard. With music by Charles Paul, Murder at Midnight was directed by Anton M. Leader. 